10 beautiful young women from around the country are bringing their wicked ways to the city of angels. I'm really selfish, I'm really lazy. A lot of people do a lot of stuff for me. I wouldn't date a guy strictly just for money, but I mean, unless you have money, I'm not interested. Everyone wants to be me. These entitled creatures believe they are going to be on a TV show that will celebrate their outer beauty. I want to be a famous actress. I want to be like the next Hollywood It Girl. But what they discover is a true twist of fate. This show is not what you think it is. Instead, they must compete against each other to prove that they have the most inner beauty. I'm not wicked when I get my stuff. What are you going to get after being all humble and sweet? No, I don't want that. A panel of judges comprised of a psychotherapist. There's something good in each and every one of you. A comedian and author. You're going to become so much stronger. And you're just going to come out and you're going to be the Hulk. And a reformed bad girl. Don't have an attitude with me, please, because I'm really trying to help you. We'll determine who is showing real change. So it sounds like you're off to a good start. Thank you. And who will be kicked to the curb. That means you've been burned and the loft has no more room for you. No, this isn't Did fair! You Every bitch in this house needs to go home. One by one, these gold digging. Where I come from, cash is king, honey. Lying. Three Just classes for once you're lying and it'll feel good. Backstabbing vixens. You deserve all the hatred that you receive because you're a stupid We'll face elimination until one walks away with a $50,000 grand prize. And when the demons come out, you have a face that looks like a bitch. You have to see it to believe it. You betray people left and right. You should be ashamed of yourself. I literally feel like they're going to kill me. I'm done. No, seriously, I'm over these stupid bitches. Like, f it, I'm done. Selfish. I'm really lazy. I'm not really self-sufficient because like a lot of people do a lot of stuff for me. I know a lot of people can't take my personality, and that's fine. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. Oh, it's so pretty. I get underestimated all the time. I'm really competitive. I go after everything that I want. You know, 110 percent. Hi. Hey. I'm Amber. Nice to meet you. I've definitely used my looks to my advantage to get the things that I want. I'm not just some dumb blonde girl from LA. On a scale from one to 10, I'm a 10. Call me conceited, call me whatever you want to call me. I just really honestly believe, I mean, I'm hot. Hi. Hi. Welcome. When I saw Katie, I just kind of was thinking, typical blonde girl. I mean, maybe she thinks her look is unique, but that's what everybody is doing these days. I'm opinionated, a little bratty, a little spoiled. I can be a bitch, and I blow up when I get pissed. Hello. Oh, we have a beautiful Hi. brunette. Hi, guys. I'm Sarah. First, I was intimidated when I got here. I was like, ooh, who's going to be prettier than me? But I don't know. I think I'm not that intimidated. This purse, it's a Marc Jacobs purse. Everyone must have one. A nice older man brought it for me. I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You're older, I'm younger. You're wrinkly, I'm not. And neither of the two will meet unless there's this shopping bag. Hey. Hi. Hi. I'm Amber. Hi. Nice to I'm bitchy, I go off, you know. Like, I don't like to tap dance and I don't like to play along. Me too. Hi, I'm Sarah. Is there something? I'm Sarah. I'm borderline rude and curt. I like money. <laughs> I like money. 
I'm definitely a competitive person, but I'm a competitive person that doesn't look that competitive. But underneath it all, it's like, oh, hell no, I'm winning this. Hello. What's your name? My name's Sarah. Sarah. I think it's past you guys. <laughs> First thing I noticed about Sarah C was she had a coach purse. Get with it. <laughs> what do you do? Not much. Um, I'm just kind of a professional princess, I guess. How can you walk into a room where you haven't met anyone and say, I'm a professional princess? And I think that she's gonna quickly become maybe the joke of the house. So you have a boyfriend that lives out here or yeah. something? Or? And a boyfriend that lives in Chicago? <laughs> no, oh. no. <laughs> I'm the digger. All right. You guys can get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs>First started all this diva-ishness. I didn't really know if it would work, but then I would use it and it would work every single time. So you better believe when I walked in, like, you know, everything that was awesome about me was on display. So I made sure that everybody in there knew it too. Oh my Hi. gosh, you guys look so gorgeous. How are you? Hey. Hey. You're adorable. I find that I have to be the person to sort of initiate like the hellos and the conversation because so many people are intimidated by me. I do modeling and then I also own a consulting company and I work with models and beauty pageant girls. If you own a business, okay. I mean, I own a business too. All you have to do is fill out a couple papers and your business has begun. I can be very confrontational. I can definitely get real mean real quick. Oh my gosh, there's a puppy. That's Yogi. Hi, Yogi. I have made plenty of girls cry in like two sentences. I will point out everything that is wrong with them. And I'll just tell them that I'm better. <laughs> and that hurts their feelings because they know it's true. <laughs> and Yogi loves you already. Just keep your dog away from me. It looks like the whole rat thing. It's just small and annoying. Hi, good boy. <laughs> I think the world revolves around me, and I am the center of the world. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I really love to win. I hate losing, so I do whatever it takes, like, <laughs> bring it on. I guess I put most of my value in my looks. I think when you're a good-looking woman, um, it's easier to do that, and I do like to take the easy way out. I'm always just looking at people to kind of see like, how much fake crap do you have to make you as pretty as you are? She has a lot of plasticness going on. He loves her. Yeah. He loves that coat is what he loves. Fur coat. God knows how many animals have to die for that. Burberry shirt, and it's like all the way unbuttoned. I saw a nipple, okay? Fishnet stockings and boots with a jean miniskirt. Hooker. Oh, he's looking at my boobs now. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Yogi! <laughs> me being me, I just have to ask. Are these real or fake? What's going on in the future? Oh Vanessa's just like, you tell me! Her, her, her. I mean, she got up, like, in the bra, and she was just like, doo -doo -doo -doo, you know, just checking them out. And I'm just, like, thinking, like, is this girl bi? Like, is she, like, kind of trying to feel her up or something? Are they real, Amber? I, I don't think I was really paying attention. <laughs> Okay, so can we go in a circle and say like what we do? Like, what are your special skills? Because maybe we're all here for a reason. So Vanessa, what are your special skills? Sleeping, shopping, and <laughs> No, <laughs> that's not all I'm good for. Wow. Is that how you got on the show? No. <laughs> Girls, we're hanging out. All of a sudden, we're like, we're listening, and we hear. Ladies, come out and join me. <laughs> Welcome, ladies. How are you? Good. 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 My name is Carrie D. English, and I will be your host. Whoa, this is a little bigger than I thought it was. I had watched her on America's Next Top Model, and so I was like, oh shoot, this is serious. You ladies have all come here with serious attitudes. And you've all admitted to behavior one could call mean, selfish, and let's face it, pretty wicked by most standards. You know like when you're so nervous you can hear your own heartbeat? That was me. So by now you're probably all wondering why you're all here. Well. We're here to find out if you can change your wicked ways. 
To win, you'll have to show the judges you can let go of old behaviors and strive for personal growth. The girl who makes the least progress towards positive change will be eliminated until just one of you walks away with a prize of $50,000. I don't exactly know why I'm here. I know why some of the other girls are here. I, however, I don't need to like correct some wicked flaw or whatever. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Wait a minute. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> Wait a minute. Like, you know what? It's karma. <laughs> I've done this to myself. Hopefully I can change. So at the end of this, people go, okay, she is a good person and I wouldn't mind dating her because at this point, I would never date myself. <laughs> What's gonna be the perk of changing your ways? You're gonna have 50,000 bucks and you're not gonna be cute anymore? No, I don't want that. I do somewhat consider myself to be a narcissist. I have been able to get by on some things because of how I look. Us having to change our ways, like they're just automatically assuming that we're like evil and wicked. Like I'm not wicked when I get my stuff. Like what are you gonna get after being all humble and sweet? Jillian seemed to not find any fault in herself. She's like, I think my fault is I'm overly confident. Whatever. We gotta figure out the beds. Yeah, I already picked a bed. I was here first. I'm sorry. The scramble for the beds was so funny. Now I went into the better room of the two. The other room is pink and greenish. It was such a cheesy room. Oh my god, there's only one big bed. Who's gonna get that? Better be me. <laughs> oh, you Whatever. <laughs> I'm not happy. Oh, why? Because I picked that bed so that Yogi would have enough space to sleep on. But I got here first. Whatever, it's all good. But if you are gonna like throw Finn and be angry about it. I'm not angry. You're more well, than welcome to have it. I'm a little angry, but I'm not angry enough to like hate your guts or something. <laughs> Kitty got there first. Get over it. Princess Yogi doesn't really need to, you know, have the king bed. Some people are here, like, making people feel bad, and I don't think that that's, like, the object of this, it's so. It's not. You can have the bed. Here. No, I don't want the no, bed. It's I nice. don't want it. I'm not oh, gonna go. That is so I'll sleep sweet. on the floor. You can I don't care. It. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not getting on that bed. You know bed. what? It's fine. You're taller, no. and you have a dog, so. That's no excuse. She just got out of the bed, so that way you can have it, and you know you want it. Now you're taking it back because you feel like an idiot. That's not my fault. Did you just call me an idiot? I said it's not you feel like one for making a big no, deal about it. No, I don't feel like an idiot for making okay. a big deal about so it. So then take the bed. No. And I was like, no, no, I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna take it. Well, I don't took it. <laughs> Yogi. <laughs> Anna is in no way sincere when she was saying, oh no, I don't want it, you can keep it. She absolutely wanted the bed. That's why she didn't stop whining until she got it. If Katie wouldn't have given it up, she'd be whining right now about it. I think she purposely tried to make me look like an ass. No. I mean, she she obviously achieved it, so. I like Anna, but I just don't want to be involved in it because I'm trying to stay away from the drama. You know what? We have a lot ahead of us. We have no idea what's going to go on. And I think a bed drama is nothing compared to what they're going to do to make us better. This is bull. This is not a problem. Let's just let it go. Oh, this is kink. Everybody in this room gets along except her. The same rules don't apply. Oh, well, this girl just had a flip mode. <laughs>